So let's get a look at the best of the highlights here. Mikhail, it was pretty unfortunate for Sampal Kami to go wicketless today. That drop catch off his bowling as well from Gulshan Ja. This is the only chance really that went down, probably should have been held. Irie, I think, wanted a piece of it too. But then Karen KC, well, he got into the act, picking up the big wicket of Martin Coetzee, who was caught by Asif Sheikh for just eight. And there was some runs, one boundary for Nizakat Khan, and some good stylish strokes from Ansem and Rath. Oh yes, that partnership was just about brewing in the middle, Anshuman Rath and Nizakat Khan, and it looked like they'll once again take them out of trouble. But a moment of brilliance here by Deependra Singh idea. One-handed pick-up throw to one stump to aim at, and that just about began the capitulation for Hong Kong. Some counter-attack hits as well, and some fours behind of square, but then this moment of brilliance again, a direct hit by Gulshan Jha. Lalit Rajman, she introduced him to the attack, induced two wickets, and he clearly pegged the middle order back. Yeah, and credit to Bahara as well. He, he, I think he's been the victim of some pretty harsh discussions and criticism at points on social media from Nepal's fans. It's a hero or villain role, particularly when you're asked about four consecutively at the death. Today's been a hero day for him. He's been really good. And actually, he wasn't helped out by his fielders. Occasionally, Rohit Powell with a misfield in the deep. Looked to just have a bit more zing through the air as well, didn't he? So in good rhythm today, he finished with three for 29. And then, well, we've been waxing lyrical about Dipendra Singh Iri. Not for the first time in this tournament. I don't think it will be for the last. He has a big impact again. Two for, for him too.